K-Pace guy here. Got a few boxes from Amazon. And I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. Now, it's not necessarily anything special, but I decided that I was gonna go ahead and unbox it here on the channel just so you guys can see what I got and maybe you're interested in this product right here. So I know what it is already. It's not anything special. I ordered it a couple days ago. Uh, Amazon was doing their Prime Day and I went through all the deals on Prime and found a lot of things that are pretty cool. Um, I didn't really buy anything because I'm kind of still saving up for that monolith. But there was a thing that I decided I was going to go ahead and get. I'm going to go ahead and show, go ahead, go ahead and show you guys right now what it is. Um, let me grab some scissors really quick and I'll be right back. Got my scissors here, so let's go ahead and open the small box first. Go ahead and tear this open. Of course, Amazon uses this really good tape. All right, so in the small box here, we have the Fire TV from Amazon comes in a small box here and the reason why I decided to get this is um, for one main reason so I did show you guys the, the, the JS 8500 Samsung 4k TV in the bedroom that I had way back three years ago I did an updated review on it and I told you guys that it was becoming slow laggy um, it, all, it was always loading YouTube and it would just it would just get stuck on a loading screen or a, a buffer screen it would never it would never stop doing that it would never come off of that so I got kind of tired of it and I am planning on upgrading TVs, not necessarily in the near future. So I went ahead and got me this Amazon Fire TV because it was on sale for $50 less than um, normal price because it was on the Prime Day. So here we have the Fire TV itself. Hooks up directly to your TV with HDMI. This is the 4K HDR version, of course, because why not? Um, there also is a little cool thing with it that I, I'm going to tell you soon after. But let me just show you this. This is the actual Fire TV. Very small, kind of just hooks on to your um, your HDMI port on the back of your TV, so it's hidden away. You never have to see it. Also in the packaging is, of course, how to hook it up, what controls do what, how to work your, your remote, which I'll show you guys soon. And then the orange booklet that they also give is kind of just showing you the different apps that they have available for you on the Fire TV, which is pretty much their standard ones. You have access to the internet, music, Spotify, Vivo, iHeartRadio, you know, Facebook, all of uh, all, the, all the cool apps you get on like streaming devices or DVD players nowadays. But this is also um, Alexa controlled. So I can also talk to it if I don't want to, if I want to be lazy, don't want to go through the menus. I can use this small remote here and I can talk to it with the mic that's provided. Now, most TVs have this nowadays. It's kind of standard, becoming more standard. Feels really, really good in your hand. Has a little protection on the front here. Let's pull that off really quickly. Satisfying tear there. This is the remote here, small, a couple of buttons, but you're really gonna benefit from it from your voice. You have your mic button right here at the top. Hey Alexa, go to YouTube. And then I can talk to it there. No keypad, none of that kind of stuff. It's really banking on you using your voice, which I'm sure will be fine. All the buttons you have is a pause, play, a fast forward, um, Rewind, and then you have probably a menu button here, the three horizontal lines, menu button, and then a go back button there. And they also provide you with two AAA batteries, which is great because I don't think that I had any. So I do have those there. And I'll go ahead and pop it off. You just push up on the back here, on the back, and then you reveal the batteries here. So we got negative this way. Oops. There's that, and positive this way. So now we have our remote ready to go. If I can put the back on correctly. And we're good, all right. So let's take this out of its case as well. Here we go. Awesome, let's put that in the box here. Not too heavy, probably, I don't know. I don't know, three pounds maybe, if that. Just hangs on to the back of your TV. Put that trash there. Now, what's in this big box though? Well, first off, it does come with a micro USB 
power plug. And you're wondering why do you need that if it just plugs straight into your TV? Well, it does need power. So there's a small port right here that just plugs in the back here of your Fire TV. If I can get it to go the right direction here. There we are. It just plugs into the back of it right here. It's simple. Probably your standard six foot cable. Plug it into the back of your TV and hide it away. Never have to worry about it. So that's for that. But what's in this, what's in this bigger box right here, K-Face guy? Let's crack it open. All right, so not only did I get the Fire HD Amazon stick, I also got this HD antenna that lets you stream TV up to 35 miles away, depending on if your area is good or not. We'll decide how much broadcast you'll get. So this is actually pretty cool. We'll throw this box to the side. This was only $5 more to get. So I, I said, why not? Why not get it? It's only $5 more, which is still $50 off regular MSRP. Go ahead and cut this tape on the back. Tricky, tricky tape on the back right here. Here we go. Gotta get in here. That's one. That's two. All right, and that's three. Oh, it's still kind of stuck here. I'll tell you what, you weren't you weren't getting in here in a timely manner if you were trying to steal this thing. It wasn't happening. We're gonna go ahead and cut that off. There we go. This thing is an HD antenna. And what it does is it takes broadcast so you can watch TV free. I don't have cable in here because I don't watch enough TV to pay for it. I do, I do all my streaming anyway. So right here is an ultra thin, as you can see, a super thin panel. I'll take out the package in a second. TV antenna up to 35 mile range. And we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to this TV. It won't be in this um, room here that we'll use it in, but we'll hook it up to this TV here in the living room shortly and we'll see what it's all about go through setup and all things like that so it's just showing you how to set it up and things like that and we'll go through that in a second but let's go ahead and show you guys just how thin this is so what you have provided to you from Amazon is a thin sheet pretty flexible it has a jack for you to screw into your antenna here which they provide for you probably also six feet maybe and you just screw that into the back of your TV, and then you screw the other end into the bottom of the antenna. And then it just pulls in signal um, around you, and you can watch TV for free. Not really sure how many channels you have. I have to, have to look. But I thought that was pretty cool, so that I'll go ahead and try it for you guys and see what it's about. So I'm going to go ahead and get this unpackaged, get everything hooked up, and then we'll see how it works, guys. See you in a second. guys so I got the Amazon fires hooked up to the HDMI one so we're gonna go ahead and switch off of the Xbox input and go over to HDMI one all right oh we're good here with some Spanish that's never good considering I can't read it the home button here Let's see. I'm trying to get to English here. We haven't yet found it. Let me see.
still a little plastic on here. Trying to do something. So we're searching for the remote. So it was going through the languages and searching for the remote. So it told me to hold the home button down for 10 seconds to try to find it. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Still seems to be trying to find it. Let me see here. All right, so we it's found the remote. Now, I'm supposed to go through and pick a language. I guess when it gets back to English, I'll press let's pause and play. You see down there at the bottom, waiting for it to get back to English, and then I repress that button on that language that you'd like. Don't speak any other language other than this one, English. So, and all the sounds you're hearing are coming from there. Here we go. Choose. We are in the United States. Insufficient USB power connected. Continue without power adapter. Scanning for networks. Looking for Wi-Fi here. All right, here's my password. Password has been entered and now we're trying to connect to my network. I hope there's not an update. This probably is an update since it's new. Been registered. Continue as copy paste. That's me. No parental controls needed. Welcome to your new Fire TV. When connected to a compatible TV, your Fire TV supports both 4K Ultra HD and HDR content. In the next 90 seconds, you'll see how to access today's most popular shows, movies, and apps from Netflix, HBO, Hulu, Showtime, Prime Video, and more. Your Fire TV includes the Alexa voice remote. You can use your voice to easily find, launch, and control content, smart home devices, and more. Press and hold the microphone button on your Alexa voice remote. Just ask to search across over 140 apps and channels to find the show or movie you want to watch. Play Despicable Me. You can also search by title, actor, or genre. Find comedies. Or pair your Fire TV with your Echo devices to play, search, and control movies and TV shows hands-free. With thousands of skills, it's even easier to get ready for movie night. Just ask Alexa to order a pizza with the Domino's skill or control your smart home. Dim the living room lights. Okay, take your TV experience even further with Amazon Prime. Get unlimited access to tens of thousands of popular movies and TV shows. And as always, free two-day shipping. Enjoy your all-new Fire TV. Awesome. That kind of just, I was going to go do a overview and things like that, but since they did it for me, that saves me a lot of time. So we'll go ahead and click the things that I'm interested in watching. Might as well just click all of it. Why not? All right, and we'll click continue. Finish. And here's our home interface right here. It looks really good. This is actually looks really, really good on the TV. You might not be able to see it as good as I can see. I am recording in 4K. This is a 4K image. Hopefully you guys can see exactly how I'm seeing it. But you're greeted here with Netflix, Prime Video, things like that, as you can see. You can scroll through. It kind of has like a a Netflix Netflix kind of interface to it. That's pretty cool. You can go through and you can customize this, make it your own, put whatever you want to have here at the starting screen, or you can take away things you don't want. You can add things to it. They already have Prime Video right in here. So if you're a Prime member and you sign into your account, you automatically have all your Prime videos here. If you don't have any, then they'll probably recommend you some. I don't have any. I haven't actually went through Prime Video very much, but I do have some Prime Video, so 
If you have videos in 4K HDR, I you I got an HDR version. Uh, I believe it's HDR10, not Dolby Vision. Don't know if there'll be an update to that in the future or not. But it is all 4K HDR, so really, really cool. And you see there's a tons of stuff to go through, stuff to watch. So I'm gonna gonna have fun with this. Everything feels so smooth, it's responsive immediately. As I click, it's doing its thing. So let's go ahead and test that Alexa voice and see how well she responds to me. Alexa, watch Black Panther. Here's Black Panther. So immediately it comes up with it. You had the option to buy it for HD $19.99, you can add your wish list, things like that. So that's actually really, really cool. Of course, you have anything else that's related to Black Panther as well. Recommendations based off of that search. So that's really, really cool. I, I like this a lot. So a lot of content on here, not just music, not just movies, but you do have TV in here. So. I won't go ahead, I won't show the HD antenna unless you guys are interested in seeing it. Just going to show you the basic Prime TV because most people are going to get this, not the HD antenna. But if you guys are interested in seeing the HD antenna, let me know and I'll make a separate video of that. We'll go through the channels and see how it, how the connection is, how it sounds, how it looks, how many channels there, there are to go through. So that's going to be it for this video guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. There will be another video coming out probably this week along with this video. Another 7 Reasons Why. It's been a while since I've done a 7 Reasons Why video, but I haven't forgot about that series. So I'm doing another one. I think it's be a really good topic for you guys. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you're the first person to know when a video is up. Alright? Keep this guy out.